Hello, today I've got this beautiful orchid cactus, otherwise known as Epiphyllium akermani, to report. Uh, I bought it recently in the garden center. And as you uh, know from my previous videos, I usually report to my own potting mix. I will put uh, up above the link to my previous video about what to do with uh, newly purchased plants. Okay, and whilst doing so, I will show you as well my collection of a few apifaliums and ripsalis, and I will tell you a bit more about them. And also, thank you for watching this film, and if you could sub consider subscribing to my channel uh, and give me a thumb up for this film, and also if you hit the notification bell, it will tell you when there is a new video ready to watch, either in Polish or English. And also you can follow me on my Instagram, where sometimes there are more photos than here uh, on, on the YouTube. Okay, so this epiphytic cactus looks quite good, but uh, I prefer my own potting mix, which I will tell you a bit uh, later about and uh, as it often happens with even vine plants and ripsalis usually there are a few cuttings put together into one pot so it's just a standard practice as to the uh, potting mix this time i used a uh, horticular sand uh, perlite pumice jun ins number two a bit of uh, bark and I think I've put as well um, uh, a bit of clay pebbles just a bit so the potting mix it's again free draining but retaining a bit more moisture than for my desert cacti and as standard now I add a bit of uh, active charcoal which has got antifungal properties so all those cuttings will be put back into one pot. Now, in winter, I still water those uh, epiphytic plants um, in contrast to desert cacti, which are kept totally dry. Because, uh, but obviously I give much less uh, water and not as frequent uh, like in spring on some, or in summer. As to the light, we prefer uh, dappled light, uh, bright and direct, even semi-shade, but not direct sunlight. Um, in winter, most of them, they are back into the house, whereas in summer, some of them, they stay in the house and some of them I put out in my garden, which you will see um, shortly as well but I don't have enough branches uh, to put all of them uh, out. So just some of them. So this is a hanging pot and I've got some clips uh, to put uh, yet, although they are not from exactly this pot, uh, but I will check whether they fit <laughs> or, um, properly enough. So I like those uh, vining and cascading plants. I've got as well a nice collection of pothos and um, etc. So one day I may do a video as well, just to show them. Okay, and I'm um, sad to say, Vincent's reporting, uh, a slag uh, got to it. So a few leaves are a bit and munched on so it doesn't look as uh, good as uh, at the time of reporting but hopefully they will, the leaves and uh, the wounds will heal okay so i will show you now my collection let's start with this um, ripsalis cruciforum and i've already made a video about the longest ripsalis in my collection which included that one and the next one, uh, which I will show you in a moment. As you can see, it flowered nicely for me. 
a bit pink uh, tiny plants and also it put out new shoots those two which they have which have grown quite nicely and the other one to the right i had to cut it so i'm just rooting this bit and this is the other one one of my longest uh, ripsalis moving on to the next one this one flowered as well just had two tiny white blooms so delicate and this one, there's a story behind that one. I got one, one or two stems from my aunt. And then it has grown like that. So it's really easy to propagate. You just cut the stem, wait for the end to color over and stuck in the potting mix and wait for it to root. And in 2020, it produced some flowers as well. Unfortunately, not this year. But they are typical flowers white small and this is Hatoria, also known as dancing bones and indeed those stems were quite thin <laughs> funny looking cactus and on to the next one and this is uh, Ripsalis par uh, paradoxa as you can see comparing to the one which is uh, featuring in the photo of unboxing to this uh, picture it has grown nicely as well and this one is such a beautiful ripsalis but it's got herbal name horida i don't know why it's got really nice uh, hairy stems and look how cute those uh, all the offsets look so let's move on to my garden so as i said in summer i keep some of them hanging uh, on the branches of, uh, of a tree and they like the spot there so I will show you uh, them so this is a uh, Bolivian it has grown nicely as well looking nice I'll put it back on and let's grab another one so this is curly car you can see why it's called curly those leaves are really wavy last year it started to produce buds but uh, it aborted unfortunately nothing yet happening this year that one it featured in my um, series of uh, cacti's uh, guide for beginners about um, re reporting so you can then watch it, the link is up above, and compare what it looks now. And the spot is really heavy. So you can see lots of new shoots as well. Getting really big now. And another. So that one and the next one, they both were in the video which I made about uh, fighting millibarks. So, as you can see, they are both doing really uh, nice, so they recovered quite well. And on to the next one. I don't have the name. I think it might be Kasufa or what, something like that. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. But wow, it has grown as well. And it's huge, massive, lovely. And this one, I know the name because it came with the label because sometimes they come just with the uh, name Rupsalis mix. So this one is red cora because in, if it receives enough sunshine, it gets this uh, nice reddish tinge to its leaves. And as you can see, it bloomed and even there's some fruit. So there will be some seeds. So typical for Rupsalis flowers. So tiny. Looks really lovely. And another one in my collection. So I have to admit that one, first when I bought it online, when it arrived, I wasn't much impressed. But now it has grown. The stems are getting longer. So it's got more of character now and I like it more and more. 
Now, if you see that the leaves are getting a bit wrinkled or even the ends are getting brown, it means that, it, that uh, they need more water. And I have to admit, I underwater uh, rather than uh, overwatering. So a few of more epiphal epiphalliums and ripsalis as well my collection and that one it didn't do anything for the year when i was rooting it and now here you go a new life a new growth so exciting and now all of those now are the cuttings that i'm uh, rooting this one is commonly known as well as um, fern leafed cactus and look at this one there is something happening if you have a closer look up to the right at the bottom. Can you see? So I hope you like this video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.